Do you ever wonder about the value of consistency and what happens when you're being consistent, but then you go off track, right? You don't continue to open and close your day in the word, in prayer with the Lord, and you don't continue to allow him to direct you. And you don't continue to make those phone calls or write that content or do that outreach, right? Sometimes we get on a roll and we're in momentum. And then quite honestly, we get into some mind trash or the enemy gets a hold of us. And we're like, yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Do you ever wonder how that impacts or impedes the progress that we can make in business? Well, this month, we're talking about consistency. And in today's episode, we're going to take that second key of the four keys framework direct and talk about our consistency GPS, the great positioning shepherd that our Lord is for us. So why is consistency so important? Well, quite honestly, it's demonstrating our commitment our trust in him. And it's what changes the landscape of our business. Remember last week, we talked about the consistent drip or flow of water and how that can change the path and, and change the landscape in a canyon or, you know, even the dripping of water that comes from a leak in the ceiling or what have you, and how that can change the landscape. And remember that we talked about consistency is the quality of being enduring and un changing and that our definition, our model for consistency is the Lord. And we walk through so many scriptures. So if you haven't listened to that, please go check that out. And don't forget that I did episode 104 last June, 2021 is about the call to consistency. So I encourage you to go take a look at that. But I just want to read you a couple of things here out of my book, Pursuing Success God's Way, A Practical Guide to Hustle with Heart, because in chapter five of the book, I talk about how God honors consistency and commitment, and that when we are consistent, we keep that commitment to ourselves and to the Lord and to those that we he is pre-appointed for us to serve. But it also strengthens our confidence and that as we are consistent, those daily steps of consistency lead us to bigger results. So this week, we are really going to be talking about more around this pattern of consistency that we pray, we allow God to define us, to direct us, we put that into discipline, and we develop and again, that's in the four keys. So go grab that free tool at AaronHarrigan.com for keys. So here's the deal. God is our great positioning shepherd, our GPS. When I was planning out this episode, I talk a lot about our GPS and how when you're using your GPS on your phone, sometimes you can get turned around and you're not sure if you're going the right way. But the only way that your GPS can redirect you is for you to move. And I got to thinking like, what is God as our GPS? And he is our great positioning shepherd. So how about that? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. But what it starts with is acknowledging that he is our nourishment, that he gives all, that only through him can we actually accomplish anything. And so I'm going to start with John 15. Now, if you have listened to the podcast for a while, or you've read the book, or you've followed my content, you know that John 15, 4 and 5 are the foundational verses for my coaching, my hustle with heart coaching. And this is what it says. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Let me back up. Sorry, I meant to say that's verse 5. But in verse 4, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. And this is the only way we can play a significant role in his kingdom is abiding in him. And that abiding means to be enmeshed with, aligned with, walking in lockstep, not blocking the nourishment from the vine by trying to take control of the map not trying to be our own cartographer or map 
drawer, right? Allowing him to lead us, allowing him to direct us. And this is a relief to us because it means we don't have to do it all by ourselves. We don't have to do all of this by ourselves and we are not meant to, but in him, we can do anything that he calls us to do, regardless of how big that looks. So that's John 15, four and five. I want to take us over to Psalm 33, 11. And this is what this says. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations, his counsel, his direction, him being the guide and our GPS that stands forever. We will never be able to outdo that. We will never be able to fully direct ourselves because he created us and he knows the plans that he has for us and his plan for our business. He knows the kingdom impact that it's been made to create, but we've got to be consistent in the willingness to let him direct us and to allow that consistent direction without our interruption to try to go our own way. Why? Because of the landscape that it will change. You know, we've talked about this a number of times that your business is a vehicle for the gifts and talents that the Lord has given you. Your business is a vehicle to connect you to people that may never know Jesus except through you. Your business is a vehicle to serve and make kingdom impact. And the only way to do that is to be consistent. And in that consistency, allowing him to direct what that looks like. So I'm going to take us over to 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And this is what this says. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. What Dr. Charles Stanley says in my Trusty Life Principles Bible is that our work for God has value and meaning because he's the one behind it. He's the one directing it. He empowers us through his spirit and he has promised to give us success and reward our faithful service. We can't do that if we're not following directions. You know, oftentimes I will describe my journey to becoming this hustle with heart coach as ambitious woman gets lost on the way to the top, finds Jesus. He says, let me drive and hands me a map. And then later on says, you know, that map I gave you, go share that with other people. It's the willingness to be directed. I haven't always been willing to allow him to direct us, to direct me. We're going to talk about that challenge in a minute. But that when we do, uh, follow his direction, that our work has value and meaning and that he rewards us for our faithful service. And what could be better than that? Right? All right, let's go over to 2 Timothy. And in 2 Timothy 16 and 17, this really talks about 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, the importance of scripture and the truth of God's word and that the Bible is really our supernatural manual for life and for all that we do, which includes business, that it is the evidence of God's character and his nature. We talked about that last month in how he's committed to us and this month and how he is so consistent. And that our own authority and no one else's supersedes the Bible. But this is what it says in Matthew, or I'm sorry, in um, 2 Timothy 3, 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And then in 17, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Friends, this is our map. That's why this podcast exists to bring biblical wisdom to business. But this is what Dr. Charles Stanley says here. He gave us his word as an instruction book to guide our lives and as an immovable anchor to hold us steady in times of storm. It is the authority for faith and what we believe. And God reveals to what which God reveals to us through his Holy Spirit. So this is the direction that we follow. This is what we have to be consistent in being in the word. We're going to talk more about that as we talk about discipline on our next episode, but being consistent in his word and allowing him to direct us is vital 
to consistency in our business. So I've got two more places that we're going to go. Let's flip over to Colossians 3. You're probably familiar with this verse here or this set of verses here about our work honoring the Lord. But this is what this says in chapter 3, verses 23 and 24 of Colossians. Whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Every activity that we engage in should be done for his glory. We talked last week that one of the principles of learning to redefine hustle and pursue success God's way is to give glory where glory is due. And we have to be consistent in that practice. But this goes on to say that regardless, we must do each task with joy, integrity, diligence, and energy because we represent him. We are his ambassadors and that others form their opinion of the Lord through what they see in us. So it's about showing up consistently. You know, last week we talked about that another definition of consistency is the absence of incompatibility between two things. In other words, what we say and what we do are completely in lockstep. There's no incongruence. There's no discrepancy between the two. People aren't encountering us and going, well, you said this, but this, your customer service shows me that. No, no, no. We have to be consistent in how we show up and consistent in allowing the Lord to lead us in our business. Next week, we're going to talk about how we do that, right? When we unpack discipline, but it's about letting him lead and getting ourselves out of the way, which I'm going to talk about more in just a second. The next scripture that I want to take you to is Galatians 6, 9, which again, may be very familiar to you, which says, let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart. You know, oftentimes we get off track with our consistency because we're not seeing the results right away, but the drip of water does not change the landscape in a single drip or even 10 drips. Right, we have to be operating consistently and hold on to the hope and not be weary because consistency consistency develops endurance and perseverance. And that this promise from the Lord is that when we operate consistently and we let him guide us consistently, that in due season in his timing, we will reap the reward. But we have to be consistent in letting him guide us. So here's where we have the issue. We want to draw the map. (laughs) We want to draw the map. And in my book, I talk about this. Let me just get over to where this is. Again, this is in chapter five of my book. And here's where we get ourselves jammed up. We want to see the whole path start to finish, not just a few steps in front of us. And I don't know about you, but it kind of freaks me out when I can't see the whole path. We want to write the map. We want to know the end point. We want to know every milestone along the way. And the thing is, is that we can't know all of that because that's all up to the Lord. But we have to operate in faith and in trust. And remember that our consistency demonstrates that because we show up every day willing to walk out the assignment that he's given us. But here's what we know. And this is the last scripture that I have for you, which is uh, Ezekiel 36 verse 26. I am not sure that I've been in Ezekiel on a podcast, but that's what I love about the word of the Lord. It's where he takes you. So here we go. Ezekiel 36, 26. And this is what it says. And I will give you a new heart, a new spirit that I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. So what does that mean for us? Well, what I love is Dr. Charles Stanley's commentary on this. And he says, and this, this is so beautiful. This is a mic drop right here. God wants transformation, not mere accommodation. When God is directing us, he doesn't just want us to say, yeah, okay, Lord, I'll follow. No, no, no. He wants us to be transformed through his direction. He doesn't just want to remodel us. He wants us to be brand new. He doesn't just want to 
reform our character, but he wants a new spirit that's willing to do his will, willing to follow his direction, which by the way, this transformation is why Christ came. And this applies to your business because he wants to see you view and do business differently his way. He wants to see you redefine hustle to be intentional and purposeful and work with a sense of urgency, but not frantic energy. The Lord wants us to be transformed in accepting his direction consistently. Mm, that's, that's good right there. I don't know about anybody else. So listen, if this is resonating with you, I invite you to come over to Voxer. So this link is in the show notes. If you're watching this on YouTube, you see it on the screen. Come find me on Voxer. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. It's a walkie talkie app and you can leave me messages there or drop questions there. And I'll add you to our podcast hangout. It's a private group on Voxer where I share insights and I answer your questions and I'd love to add you to that to continue this conversation. And you can leave me messages and I can leave you messages. So go find me on Voxer. It's one of my very fa favorite places to hang out and really provide more value to you as my audience. And definitely go get yourself that four keys tool because that is going to just be an incredible resource for you when you kind of get lost in the in the sauce of staying consistent. And this will remind you of how he defines and directs you and how to put that into discipline so that you can develop into the entrepreneur that he's made you to be. And lastly, if you are in the Mid-Atlantic area, come take a pause with me. I am hosting the Leading Lady Be Led half-day retreat on Saturday, March 26th in Annapolis, Maryland. It's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're going to have plenty of quiet time for you to pray and read and reflect and some teaching time around what does it mean to be led by the Lord. And that link will take you to the details and the registration, but hurry because seating is limited. The space is limited in how many people we can have. But it's going to be a really just beautiful, intimate environment. Uh, it's coming together so beautifully. I can't wait for you to experience it. So make sure you go and register for that today. All right, friends, next week, come back as we talk about the discipline of consistency, because I know that you're like me and you want to know how to take action and what does that look like? And that's what we're going to talk about next week. I'll see you then.